Our next speaker is Masa Fardisi. Masa is a PhD student in the College of Agriculture. And her question is, what would you choose? Dry distillers, grains with solubles, DDGS, or candy? If you have seen insects crawling around the area that you kept your pet food, you most likely have an infested bag of feed. This commonly happens to pet owners. But let's think about the farmer who has a lot of livestock. Imagine how much money he has to spend to provide feed for the cattle, chickens, and pigs. I bet he doesn't like to open a bag of feed and find out that insects infested that bag. Because insects are smart. They eat the nutrition part of the feed, beside the health issues that they may cause for the animal. For my project, I'm looking at feed susceptibility to insect infestation. And I'm, looking, I'm working on dried distillers grains with solubles. I refer to it by its abbreviated form, DDGS. Let me tell you what DDGS is. DDGS is a co-product of corn ethanol production process after they remove a starch from corn and after they remove alcohol. For beverage and ethanol production, the remaining solid is DDGS. DDGS has been used in livestock uh, feed to replace corn or other grains because it has a high nutrition content and is cheaper than corn. So for my project, I want to know um, if we add DDGS to animal feed, would that attract more or less insect to the feed or not? But let me remind you something from last year. Due to drought, the price of corn increased, and some farmers were not able to purchase corn to include in the feed because it was cheap. As a result, they used candy because they could buy cheap candy, old cheap candy. But Obviously, DDGS is a better option. It's healthier. It, it provides the required nutrition for the animal. And it's cheaper than corn. So I want to know if we, uh, first, we, if we add DDGS to animal feed, would that attract more or less insects? But first, we need to know the susceptibility of DDGS to insect infestation. To answer that question, I choose red flower beetle, one of the most important insect pest of stored food, to see how many eggs would they lay and how fast would they grow when they were feeding on DDGS. We found out that red flower beetle choose to either not lay eggs or lay very few. And even in the case of laying eggs, it took a long time for them to grow. And that's a great news for the farmers because that means insects do not like DDGS and they do not do well on DDGS. So let me ask you this question. What would you choose, DDGS or candy? I bet you choose candy. But if you're a farmer, you should choose DDGS. Thank you.